Well, it's time for lunch. Let's get over to the kitchen and say hello to ABC7 Culinary Director Judy Gallagher. See what she's cooking for us today. Hi, Judy. Well, hi, Scott. I am so excited because I based everything today on these simple red onions. These are the baby spring red onions, and I got them over at Whole Foods. And there's nothing like the beginning of the spring of getting fresh ramps and things like that. So I thought I'd make it with some grilled chicken breast. We're going to add a different layer of cheese with Asiago and Parmesan and mozzarella. Of course, we have to bring in garlic, and we'll bring in some other vegetables. So stay with me throughout the hour. It's creamy, it's gooey, and it's yummy. We are making a really nice chicken pasta today. Hi there, Scott. So I picked up um, some thin, boneless, air-chilled chicken breasts, and I got them already pounded out. You're gonna pay a little bit more, but it's a lot less mess. And the thing about air-chilled, people ask me, air-chilled means it's going in nice cold temperature, but without that chlorine water, believe it or not, there is chlorine water in a lot of chicken breasts. You wanna make sure that you get the all-natural or organic and look for the air-chilled, okay? Because it's the best quality, it's the best way to have it. So in these chicken cutlets, I just used a, a blend of like a coastal blend from the spice and tea, but you can use any blend you want, salt, pepper, oregano, dried basil, going to be perfect just like that. Well, this one's finishing up. We're going to start on phase two. Now, I already cooked the pasta. Today, I'm using a gluten-free pasta. So it's based from brown rice, but it also has flax in it. And I giggled because flax and flax seeds and flaxseed oil are so good for your nails and your hair. And we kind of joke, that's why I need a haircut every three weeks, because we eat a lot of flax. So we've got some brown on there. Now you can use leftover chicken breasts as well that you've grilled the night before. So let's grab the garlic and let's get that in the pan. Same pan that we use the chicken in because we want all the goodness that's on the bottom of the pan, okay? So here comes a little butter, about two tablespoons, and I'm using the unsalted French butter. Nice and creamy, really rich flavor to it, which is great. Next, we're gonna take asparagus. Now, I personally peel, I cut the ends, then you normally you snap it where it bends, so cut off the ends, I peeled the base. That gets rid of that stringy part, so we'll put that right in there. And this is the part that I'm excited about. Here go those spring red onions. Probably more than I normally would use because these are lighter. They're not as pungent as one of those big old red onions. So that is gonna really add freshness to the dish. Okay, I'm gonna saute this for about, oh, six to eight minutes, just till the asparagus is tender. And that will be the perfect time for you to come back. We'll add the cream and some other ingredients and make it cheesy goodness. I'll be back in just a few minutes. Hi, Scott, and I'm saving my appetite for that great best of party for Sarasota Magazine tonight at Selby Gardens. Okay, so we have the asparagus, we have the, the red onion, the spring red onion. Now I found a little bit extra spinach in my refrigerator. I always say, shop your shelves, right? Just like you shop your closet, shop your kitchen for any ingredients that just might add a little addition or you just wanna use it up. Not enough to feed the family with a salad. It's gonna be perfect going in here. Now I deglazed the pan with some organic chicken stock. So we're just gonna bring it up to temperature for a moment, crank that temp up, but we're gonna watch it as soon as it starts really bubbling up. We have to be careful because now comes the ooey gooey part. Okay, we're gonna take where we have the grilled chickens in there. We're gonna take about three quarters of a cup of heavy cream. Don't gasp, this is gonna serve six people. And then we're gonna do some grated Asiago, grated Parmesan. There we go. And a little mozzarella. So in a way, this is almost like an Alfredo, only we're using different cheeses, not just the Parmesan in it to make that Alfredo sauce. If it starts to thicken too much as the cheese melts, that's the perfect opportunity to add a little more chicken stock. And now we put that delicious seasoning in the beginning, but I want, instead of adding more Coastal Blend, I'll just touch it up with salt and pepper. Right before we're done, we're gonna add the gluten-free rice pasta, and that's going to give it some some more pasta, you know, more flavor to the dish. But 
I know this is not a dietetic dish, but it's just nice if you can lower the carbs in something to have that opportunity too. Last thing before I'm gonna put in that pasta is I'm gonna get, squeeze juice of a half a lemon. And now let's put the pasta in and then I'm just gonna keep working it. Just keep tossing it around. And the great thing is, is that you don't need a lot of pasta in this. It's ooey, it's gooey, but it's rich. So a small amount. And then what we're gonna do to serve the chicken breasts are in there. I'll just line a few more slices up on top. And wow, we really have fresh basil. We've got a cheesy good dish. You can see how it's coming along. So come back and John Scalzi and I will take a little bite for lunch. Judy Gallagher, this right here is yummy. Ah, thank you, John. Well, mm. you know, we've got the seasoned chicken breasts, mm -hmm. and that always adds a lot mm. of flavor. And it's, in a sense, part way it doesn't know what to distinguish itself, spring and light or yeah. heavy and alfredo. That's but it true. It has the mozzarella, the parmesan, and the asiago in there. Mm -hmm. But I think the best part are those baby red onions. You get the beginning ramps of the season, and they're only here for a short time, so I think they bring in that flavor as well. Oh, they really do. And plus, you know, you've got a little bit of a garlic flavor going on there. Yeah. And, and all the veggies. I, I really love this dish. Good. This well, is great. Okay, it's yep. going to be John Scalzi's birthday dish next year. <laughs> Go to the dining page, my son Cody com and click on recipes and video. You'll get this and so much more. Enter to win a gift certificate for $50 to you, dine at one of our restaurant partners. You know, if you're even having a pasta craving, you could put this over pasta too and it'd be delicious, wouldn't it? There is pasta in there. Oh, there is. But I haven't got to that it's yet. It's gluten free, <laughs> so you got... don't even worry about that. It's fantastic. Scott?